And we are learning more tonight about just how far the Trump administration might have gone to hunt down the source of leaks, seizing phone records from congressional Democrats. And now the Justice Department's inspector general will investigate if it was politically motivated. Here's CBS's Jeff Begays. The C's phone logs date back to 2017 and 2018 as the House Intelligence Committee's Russia investigation was underway. President Trump wanted to know where the leaks were coming from. Justice Department prosecutors secretly subpoenaed phone information from Apple for Democrats Eric Swalwell and Adam Schiff and people close to them, including a minor. It's a, another terrible abuse of the Justice Department another shattering of the norms uh, since Watergate. Schiff had been a frequent target of the president. And shifty Schiff, how about this guy? Attorney General William Barr continued the leak investigation and stumbled when asked by then Senator Kamala Harris if the president or anyone at the White House had ordered him to open an investigation. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh... Yes or no? Could you, could you repeat that question? I don't know. I wouldn't say suggest. Hinted. I, I don't know. Former Republican Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez says the phone record subpoenas are troubling. So based on what you know, was, was that contrary to DOJ policy? What is being reported is certainly, if not contrary to policy, certainly inconsistent with the finest traditions of the department. And Jeff joins us now. So what will this independent investigator at the Department of Justice be looking for? Well, the bottom line is, is that this inspector general will look into whether the Trump administration used the DOJ as a weapon against the president's political enemies. Also, Nora, Senate Democrats want AGs William Barr and Jeff Sessions to testify on Capitol Hill. We'll see if that happens. All right, Jeff Begays, thank you.